sorry about that interruption. Um, we had some technical difficulties and uh, we're gonna just pick up right where we left off. So I'll kick it back over to you, Joyce. All right, thanks, Nick. Oh, the irony uh, about pivoting and this being a digital presentation. Uh, I promise we did not plan that. Um, so where we left off, um, if you remember the virtual room uh, that Sarah shared, um, that we had hosted for our entire, uh, for the duration of the planning effort, um, our virtual room is just as great as it is. Uh, and if people can see it, it's even that much better. And so one of the things that we realized um, a few months into the planning process, a little longer than we would have liked to have, was that we need people to see the room. And so we made these uh, QR code posters. You can see they're both in English and Spanish. Um, and the second we did this, uh, we learned that um, there was a huge uptick in participation to the room. Um, for the duration of the planning uh, process, 50% of all participation or all visitors to the room itself happened after the QR code was posted. So um, it was just that little aha moment um, of let's see what we can um, what we can do to get some more eyes in the room. So um, that was uh, one kind of success story. You know, the other is was thinking about the boards that we create for meetings and how we like to put lots of words on those boards. And I think virtual engagement forced us to think as graphically as possible. So Sarah mentioned using mural board and in mural board, um, we could narrate things verbally and people could use things like post-it notes or we could have conversations around a picture. Um, and it wasn't, uh, we weren't forced to make sure that every word was right uh, on the page. So I think that's just another uh, um, kind of success story or something uh, that we as planners uh, forced ourselves to do. Um, so I think just in, in closing, and I uh, apologize, this was a little disjointed. Uh, I, for me, the biggest takeaway is that virtual engagement forced us to be intentional um, and to think of new ways to make outreach accessible. And so I think as we pivot back to hybrid, I think a lot of us were doing hybrid engagement before. We'll continue that in the future. Um, as we're doing it, we just have to keep that in the back of our mind. Um, always think of new ways to engage. How can we combine? diversify our, our toolkit um, as we go back to the pop-up meetings or, or meetings in person, you know, even just one little touch of if we have a board uh, for a public meeting, let's put a QR code uh, on the bottom of it so people can continue uh, to engage in a virtual realm as well. So uh, thank you all and um, uh, really appreciate you taking the time. <laughs>